Welcome back to my channel. It's your boy 4KIT. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Today we are going to discuss about elementary algebra. Elementary algebra covers the traditional topics studied in a modern elementary algebra course. The arithmetic includes numbers along with mathematical operations like positive sign, negative sign, multiplication, and division. But in the field of algebra, the numbers are often represented by the symbols, and those are called variables such as x, a, n, and y. It also allows the common formulation of the laws of arithmetic such as a plus b equals b plus a. And it is the first step that shows the systematic explanation of all the properties of the system of the real numbers. The concept coming under the elementary algebra includes variables, evaluating expressions and equations, properties of equalities and inequalities, solving the algebraic equations and linear equations having one or two variables and so on. Start with number line. When it comes to a number line, we have two sides to it. We have the positive side and we have negative side. The negative, I mean the positive side is same as natural numbers and the negative side considered as negative integers. The negative side of the number line is the same as the opposite of positive side. That is, every number on the negative side is just exact opposite of each number on the positive side. So a zero is the mid, I mean the starting point. Going on the right way, I mean going on the right side, those are the positive numbers from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 19, all the way to the positive infinity. And from 0, we have negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, all the way to the negative infinity. So basically what we're saying, negative 1 is just the opposite of positive 1. Negative 2 is the opposite of positive 2. Two. Negative three is the opposite of positive three. Same thing as negative nine is the opposite of positive nine. So if you see a minus sign, it's the same thing as saying subtract some number or a number from the other or oh, it's just the opposite sign of plus sign I mean it's just the opposite of plus sign or positive sign so for instance if we have 3 multiplied by negative 4 that is going to equal a negative 12. Or we can say 3 multiplied by the opposite of positive 4. That is going to equal the opposite of positive 12, which is negative 12. So if we have 2, the I mean 2 minus 3. That is going to equal negative 1. 
it's like you have two dollars in your pocket and you hold me three dollars if you pay the two that i mean if you pay two dollars out of three dollars that you owe me you still gonna hold me a dollar so negative four is the opposite of positive four now let's let's look at the following what is the opposite of positive a that will be negative a and what is the opposite of negative a it will be the same as positive a the same thing here what is the opposite of positive m it will be a negative m Likewise, what is the opposite of negative M? That will be positive M. So, we have the opposite of letter P plus the positive P. That will be equal to negative P. If we like, we can read this as negative P plus positive P equal the opposite of P. Or we can say the opposite of P add to positive P, that will be equal to negative P. If we have the opposite of positive M, what would that be? That would be negative M. The same thing as saying minus plus M equal negative M. Or we could say the opposite of positive M is going to be the opposite of positive M. Same as saying minus plus m equal minus m we have the opposite of negative m equal positive m or we can say minus times minus m that will be plus m m plus negative m that will be zero same thing as saying M plus the opposite of M, which is equal to zero. Or we can say M plus minus M, which is the same thing as M minus M, it was zero. Another example, we have negative two plus another negative two. That would be negative four. It's same thing as saying somebody uh, hold $2 to a person and he hold another, he holds another $2 to another person. So you hold $2, add it up to another $2 that you hold. That would be negative four. That would be, that means you owe $4. So we have negative four. minus negative four that will, that will be zero it's like saying the opposite of positive four the opposite of negative four so basically negative four negative negative four negative times negative that will be positive so negative four positive four that will be zero it's like you you have four dollars, but you hold somebody four dollars. If you pay that four dollars, what you got left? Nothing. Another example right here, we have negative five plus negative five. That is going to equal negative ten. You hold me five dollars last week. You hold me another five dollars this week. That means you hold me ten dollars total. The opposite of number five 
plus another half a seat of number five. That will be the opposite of positive 10. If you enjoyed this video, please share it with your friends and everybody that you know that need the knowledge of algebra and wants to know about mathematics in general. Thanks for watching.